also own a farm. Here we go. You are now watching the 2024 season of Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. Me and Robert are here. And, uh, <laughs> dude, the earmuffs on. What? Robert also got off. Can you hear me now? Dude, I can hear you. <laughs> exactly. So, today is the day. Kenworth goes in the shop. And I don't know if it's going to slide into this video or not. But hopefully, by the end of the day, we see the motor and uh tomorrow hopefully we get the motor in but what i'm going to do now is we are building a sleeve to go into the front of the truck so we can push it into the shop without having any issues last time it was a little sketchy this time we're going to make it happen okay there we have it we got our bolt we got our push bars against it great welding dude proud of you um we're gonna go see if that will push our push us in so we got more winter weather coming in but this is what we made those are not very straight but this is what i'm thinking it's gonna slide right in there i gotta grind it up a little bit more um and then it should fit robert's headed over with the tractor dan doesn't have uh his forks drilled but this is what i came up with i came back here and uh we'll put this bolt through which will then hold that in so we're all good there shouldn't or it's not like we're beating on it back and forth didn't weld this side because I, we're doing a push against that side so i don't want it wedged in there but there's our push bar i'm trying to be like jason smith you know at some point we're gonna see what he bought uh you guys have never met jason smith on the channel but the massey that i ran this summer was jason's um his unit so we're gonna get over there get this pushed in take the hood off and prepare it for the motor to go back in and i forgot my phone oh no it's in my pocket now we are on the move so we gotta get the flashers and the brake and the uh two brake light marker lights switched over to leds we got one that works one that doesn't on both of them i guess so bulbs are probably burnt out, but 2755 doing its thing. As I've said before, we're only going a mile and like 1.8 miles or something. I asked Robert if he wanted to be a big tractor driver. And then he realized that the windows fog up. <laughs> I know they make actual tow ones and we could get a square tube. This is very temporary very makeshift um i do not plan on having this truck off-road probably gonna have a hitch but somebody had cut the bumper inlets on this so we probably got to take the bumper off because we are gonna have to put a flip bumper on it if we're gonna go anywhere but to truck shows truck shows probably <laughs> so roads in new york if you don't know are garbage so we might rip this bumper off at some point it looks like it's sitting a lot higher but it's sitting on the hill and it drops off so that's good there we just got to get a tractor out of the sh shop and yeah dan said he'd give us a hand make this nice and easy Whew. 7140 looking good looks clean. it looks very clean um all right, open that up and then uh, we'll get the skid steer out. We'll get this out. The skid steer can probably come back in once we get the truck in. So the reason why we're doing it over at Dan's and the whole reason we started over here, and I appreciate Dan letting me park that. Um, just park that to the left because we're gonna need it to probably take the hood off. Um, appreciate Dan letting me park here for the last year. Uh, it's because he has a full bay that we can get in and out of tall ceilings and be on com concrete the whole time. 
So that is why it's over here. If my whole shop was concrete, we would do the same, but uh, the guy who's doing the motor asked specifically, I you remember I had to drive it, asked specifically that it be on concrete so you call around, stuff like that. Dirt floors don't really do much for people. I don't even like working on dirt floors, but we do a lot of that. kind of amazed at how easy that went that worked go down okay we are gonna flip the hood up onto a pallet Dan's coming with the skid steer now I don't remember how this comes apart but that is our plan
the back and turn yeah. back in all the way back. or without you there, there's no deer so don't even bother hunting well i jumped from one thing to another real quick there uh i got the phone call and they said hey we got a service truck in route to lift your motor you're gonna be here in 30 minutes i live about 40 minutes away so i had to hook the trailer on had to get up there appreciate everybody who helped well you're gonna see um but that is why we jumped from taking the hood off to also this next scene of loading the motor so let's keep it going but i am very excited for this and uh yeah it is sitting in my driveway right now so things might have gone not smooth but not bad you gotta stay stay tuned for all the next videos so let's let's load it up no racking moment Okay, we are loaded up, strapped down. It's not going anywhere, except for in the truck tomorrow. Loaded on the tail so that I could back in to my uh, bay. That way if it snows and everything, it's not sitting out um, covered in snow for tomorrow. But they're gonna get these pallets that have cracked heads and stuff like that. Souvenirs! I don't think anything's useful, but we'll get them loaded on in the oil pan, because the oil pan has to go in once the motor's on. Well, oil pan has to go on once the motor's in. We made it home. I'm just gonna get the manure truck started up, moved out of the way. I'm gonna pull up back into um, the garage. We loaded it on the back so that it can be under cover tonight just in case it does get real nasty and all. Well, yeah, it's, it's not horribly chilly right now, but it's not that great. So, I'm sure this is on will be unhappy. Oh yeah. No, a little unhappy. It is cold. 
Okay, we got the oil pan in here, which, uh, but what else we got? Scrap, pretty much in there. There's a set of core injectors that are in there. So in case we ever need a set of injectors, but we should be pretty golden. Uh, housing that got cracked, that was cracked right there. Two junk heads. And we got our Christmas present, as my buddy Ray said. He said, you got yourself an early Christmas present. I said, yeah, I hope it uh, works out. It's going to work out. I, I'm very excited for this truck. Um, yeah, I'm very excited for this truck. I love my R model. I love my R models. I love the white truck. They've all just done their thing, but this truck's going to be... It's gonna be something. So I guess we're gonna have to wait till tomorrow and we will uh, drop it in. I think I got some help um, and it goes. We gotta do a bunch of stuff to it. It will not fire tomorrow. We have a strict protocol um, and they are gonna pre-lube it. The pre-luber's coming to do this motor and that will probably be, probably be Monday. Today is Friday. But if it's in the truck, everything can get buttoned up filled with fluids be in a good spot <coughs> i also think i have the flu so that's not very good i think everybody's kind of been sick so it all is added up but appreciate you guys watching if this is the end of today's video or if we roll into tomorrow and uh it's in here out of the weather a little bit hopefully it doesn't snow anymore and uh tomorrow will be will be exciting so i'll see you guys on the next one have a good one